Well, hello there, everyone. Welcome to Hotel Check-In. Today we are talking about episode 5, entitled Room Service. First off, I want to talk about Alex. I don't like her. Alex is the doctor that got turned into whatever they are so that she could be with her son forever. She's just so blah to me. But anyway, she turns this patient of hers who had, I think, the measles into whatever they are. And that kid feeds on his parents, and then he goes to school and feeds on a kid, and then the kids feed on a teacher, and then the teacher dies, and more kids feed on it, and it turns into chaos and hell. It was disturbing, but I loved it. I liked this episode so much better than the actual Halloween episode, and it was still technically a Halloween episode, I guess. It clearly took place on Halloween, or the kids were celebrating Halloween. So I'm just going to count this as a Halloween episode, just so I can forget about Devil's Night. Meanwhile, Iris has also turned into whatever they are, and uh, she's struggling with it. She is suffering, and the sassy bartender, Liz Taylor, gives her a drink of blood, and she's okay, and she's wanting to do her job again, and these two asshole hipsters come into the hotel, and they treat her like shit. They treat her like shit. And so she's obviously very pissed off at them, and Liz Taylor convinces her to do what must be done. She f murders the bastards! But before she did, I want to take things back to Liz Taylor because she is quickly becoming one of my favorites. I loved her backstory of how she became who she was and how she checked into the hotel as a man with his work buddies. And the Countess, Lady Gaga, comes in and just catches him wearing a dress. And the whole interaction with Lady Gaga was just... So Lady Gaga, I really liked it. It was kind of like this awesome coming of age story. The whole thing was fabulous. Oh yeah, and John Lowe and Sally may have hooked up. Four hotel bells. Check you next time.